Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I haven't been to Dick's in a while. I wonder how their tennis apartment is doing. Stay tuned. All right, so I haven't been to Dick's in over a year, and you know, I like to check in once in a while just to see how you know inventory levels are at like big box that actually has a tennis department to see if ball levels are okay um kind of rackets they're doing now you know, grips uh, some of the clothing if it's cool or or if they're just doing you know regular clothes um, and just kind of see what the uh, temperature's at in like a big box store. Because a lot of places, you know, you have to rely on something like this in order to, uh, you know, get your tennis stuff. So let's head in over to Dick's and see what's, uh, what they got. First thing we see, orange dot, red dot, green dot. They carry strings here. From Prince. Headband. I don't know why they carry strings here. They don't do stringing. So I guess you could buy the strings. Got some dampeners. Oh, my favorite replacement grip. We got over grips, more dampeners. W's. Pro overgrip, anybody, guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ball returner. Mm -hmm. Oh, Prince overgrip. Big roll. Some more strings, some more dampeners, some more strings. Turn a grip. Yeah. yeah. NXT. Interesting. Balls. We got balls. Pens. Hoppers. U.S. Open. Wrong balls. Regular. Why do they have so many regulars? Check out the red versus the green. Regular versus extra. Championship balls. These are all championship balls. Dunlop ATP champs. Pen champs. Check out the price. Looks like there's no more ball shortages here. Especially when it comes to regular duty felt. I don't understand why there's so many regular duty felt balls here. Check out that thunder. That's a composite aluminum. Decently weighted. There's a lot of Prince rackets here, guys. So maybe Dick's partnered up with Prince to uh, carry a lot of the Prince rackets. What is this? Oh, there's actually a Babolat. Pre-strung. Comes with a cover. $99. Okay. Another Prince. They had a great selection of Prince rackets here. That particular one was composite again. So the thing up there said that it was supposed to be a TIS-6, but that is not a TIS-6. It's got way more cosmetic. Got some yellowing there where it says head. Yeah. 
That's definitely not a TIS-6. Yeah. But it's light. Price is right. Good amount of power. Wait, now that is a TIS-6. Price went up a little bit on these guys. They were like 79, 89 forever. More Prince Rackets. You know, most of these are like aluminum to come some kind of composite graphite overlays. Drive. Max 110, 99, 99. About a 10-ounce racket. The strings in there, 110 square inch head size. What is this thing? Huh. Yeah. That's actually a decent racket. Made by head. Looks like a speed, doesn't it? Yeah, I think again, it is a speed, but pretty strong light Ishikori ultra team pretty strong so most of these guys are in that 99 range when it comes to rackets like that uh, I believe that is a full graphite racket uh, I've never seen this before. It must be a special version of it for uh, dicks or, you know, like kind of the pre strung market. But it's pretty cool. Yeah, there's no shortage of pre strung rackets at the store. Check out that one. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably the best looking racket there. Look how light that is. Look at the head size. Not bad. I like the way that thing, uh, the color scheme is on that thing. You should make a regular racket like that. For, for us, because some of the cosmetics these days could definitely be better. Yeah, pretty strongs galore. Yeah, that's the new uh, Sisipas aluminum cheap racket. <laughs> I think that thing was like twenty nine ninety nine, thirty nine ninety nine, special. Yeah, look at that plastic bridge. Yeah, looks like there's no shortage of pre-strongs. At least from prints, head, a little bit of Avalot there. And a little bit of Wilson. Love the color of this. Check it out. Yeah. It actually looked like some kind of old radical. Yeah. I'm checking to see how much graphite that thing actually has. There's your specs. It's actually a bigger head size than we thought it was, or I thought it was. It's a 105 on a 10 ounce racket. Wait, what do we see here? Yeah, never, like an X. And it's actually graphite or some kind of hard plastic. I mean, it is 
aluminum. So that thing just kind of keeps the curve there at the throat. We call that the yoke area. Love the green. Look at ZZ Foss. <laughs> yeah. It's actually got good specs. Most of these rackets are going to be in that 9.5 to 10 ounce range. Um, and that's before the strings. So strung, we're looking at about 10. Let's look at some clothes. Uh, a lot of Prince clothes here. Got the, uh, I call it the uniform section here. Got it for kids, women. Kind of, whoa, almost the plain Jane stuff. Uh, high school uniform. Got the men's section here with the shorts. Oh, wait, those are skirts. <laughs> Yeah, so high school uniforms, perfect. Oh my gosh, is it a cable vest? Next to the women's, there's the men's shorts. There we go, gotta go with the staples and the white tops. Even got a little Nike here. I had a sweater or many sweaters like that back in the late 80s. Got the white one, which was cool. I had to grab that one and check it out. And then we had the kind of mint, mint green. Check out that dress with the tops. Wow. Those are actually pretty cool, actually. If you're looking for a dress. Pretty simple, but kind of elegant. Ooh, of course. The black one. Yep. That's right. All right, starter balls. We got a lot of, I found this little section of uh, kids' balls here. Uh, get a bundle of them in a bag. Or you can use them for your dog. They chew through them. Let's check out the hats and the bags. Prince. Three packs. It's actually a pretty cute purple bag right there, actually. And then we got caps, Babylon bag. And let's go to the shoe section here. They actually had some, yeah, they're okay shoes. It's kind of the lower grade uh, Adidas and lower grade ASICs here. I couldn't find, you know, like the Nike, you know, leather pleather from back in the day or the New Balance, the 1004s or threes. But I mean, in a pinch, these will work. Plus the price is right. It's not leather, it's pleather. Just took a sniff. Look at that one piece sole. And that actually looked like a really good shoe from the appearance and the colors. Um, we know that that is not a gel resolution nine. It's definitely a, a lower end shoe. Although the sole was and felt pretty sturdy. That Prince shoe right there. 
Yeah. Uh. All right, guys. So, great trip at Dick's. A um, lot of print stuff in there. Looks like they're pretty decently stocked with yeah, pre-strungs. Uh, they did carry some strings. They don't offer stringing service, though. So, I uh, guess you'll have to bring it somewhere else to do. Um, they had my favorites, Velocity, and number one selling grip, Wilson Pro Overgrip. Um, not sure why they carried so many regular duty balls. Guessing they, uh, they use them somewhere guessing either that or you're you're using regular duty balls without knowing um clothing section was was okay a lot of plain jane stuff which you know basics sell uh, but all in all I, I haven't been here in over a year and i'm glad they're pretty well stocked on the uh the tennis side of it all right guys thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis Hey guys, do you need a tennis buddy? Want some more tennis friends? Have you guys considered play your court? You can find over 27,000 players out there. Coaches and playing partners. That's playercourt.com forward slash tennis spin.